Welcome to Crazy Nuts 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm the explosive one. Let's start the timer. It's a bit ding. And... TNT, Yo. you know how I feel about smart homes. Smart homes? Anything smart related for the home. Like nests and every, like hooking all your stuff up to the internet so the internet knows what you're doing all the time. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. You I know like how it. I feel about that. Dude, I love it when you get into your boomer bag. Dude, get wait, into okay. your boomer Before bag. Before we even get into what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Why is not wanting all your stuff hooked up to the internet a boomer thing to say? Uh, because you carry a smartphone. Yeah, but why? Okay. Just because I carry a smartphone, why does that mean my doorbell, my thermostat, my TV, my bed, my Roomba, my every? Why does everything have to be hooked up to the internet? The same reason that conservatives are mad because there's a uh, tuition forgiveness, and yet we bailed the banks out when they went to uh, overdraft. Well, you know, the reason the economy is ruined is because we gave everyone $1,200 at the beginning of COVID. <laughs> That's exactly what they, they can keep their butt. I didn't, I didn't take a PPP. I, did I didn't take a PPP nope. either. I got one, but I didn't take one. Yeah, well. Um, anyways, so I saw today the newest, the newest addition to the smart library is coming out. Okay. Apple is releasing exterior door locks that yeah. can be opened with your iphone or your yeah. apple watch yeah i'm like that just sounds like like a theft waiting to happen more incentive to steal your phone great yeah that's all great. we need you murder someone you got their apple watch boom you're in their house what country is that where there's like guys who are on like little scooters and motorcycles where they'll just like roll up to you and steal your phone out of your hand oh thailand i think is that thailand, is it thailand? i mean or i would think probably thailand or india or something like that either way well it's countries with like lots of people so it's easy they're, you're you know when you're like in the streets and stuff yeah, people yeah, yeah. just bump into you all the time and they're just like oh, that's true cell phone's gone that's true there is like a like a lack of like tra even the traffic laws and wh wherever that is yeah is if somebody relaxed. did that in Ashtabula, you'd be like, bro, why are you so close to me? But but even still, it would be an incentive to steal somebody's phone. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because you knew you could get into their house, too. Like, yeah. But here's my thing, dude. Is it that hard to pull a key out of your pocket? You still got to you still got to pull your phone. You still got to pull your phone out of your pocket. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? Honestly, Jonas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck with you. Uh, I'm not totally against this because I think it'd be cool as hell if I could start my car. Open the door to my house, get into the the lock at my my place of business. If I could get gas and pay for gas all with my cell phone, yes, please. If I never had to take a card out of my wallet ever again, that, well, I mean they have that. It's like they have Google Pay, they have Apple Pay. It's all over the place. You could do I'm, that now. I am, I am, yeah, and I feel what you're saying, but like this is just one more step in the direction of me having to have less. Like I, I hate carrying keys. And you're also the Neuralink guy, so like it all comes together. <laughs> Why am I? Wait, hold on. Why am I a Neuralink guy? Because you were all jacked about Neuralink, dude. I'm not Elon's little B-word. Just because <laughs> I brought up conservatives a little while ago doesn't mean I'm on e Elon's dick. But yeah, but you're a, you're a Neuralink homer. I mean, okay, I said I would I would probably do it. Pro now it's probably. You were like 100%. I want all yeah. of those knowledge. But I mean, now it's probably. I mean, I look, I'm open, I'm open to him. I'm, open, I, I'm, open. I'm not going to do it for free, so it depends on how much he's going to pay me. Okay. He just lost $44 billion to Twitter, so they said that Biden might slam that down somehow. I saw an article that said Biden might cancel that deal or something. I'm like, how is Biden going to just be like, yeah, hey? Anyways, know. but get back to the what we're talking about, which yeah. I don't even remember. Uh, so, like I said, I'm just I'm I'm in I'm in favor. I think keys are archaic. I think keys are going to go the way of the of the CD because like we have, like hard keys. It'll all be digital keys. Yes, yes. yes It'll yes, be. Yeah. NFT keys. I, I'm Boom. Not, I'm not going to do that because that's cringe. We don't talk about NFTs anymore. Nobody likes them anymore. I, so. I still think that I, I believe that they will have a hold of place in society. Yeah, a sort of world. system of NFT, but not like digital art being sold. No, not yes. The, the value that NFTs can provide, not yeah. digital photos. And see, no. that, 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 that is fair. Okay, I'll give you that. And it's like we already have systems like that anyway. You go to a hotel, they don't give you a, a physical key with like divots in a piece. A hunk of metal with divots to slam in a hole yeah. and turn to the right. You just put a card up to the thing. Yeah, they take it. They take. They have a million cards. They put it on a thing. It gives yeah. it a code. You yeah. take it upstairs. The code matches the door. Yeah. You, go, you get in. And look, man, if you don't pay your rent, guess what? Sorry, you're evicted. Your card don't work anymore. Yeah, and I'm not that. I'm not that guy. that's like a victim, <laughs> like especially in the in the times we are where you get them out of there. Get them out. Of there. I don't care if you're not paying your rent. 
<laughs> Throw them in the streets, yeah. make them eat birds. Yeah, obviously you can't live here, you know, but still, it seems like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I get why people would want to do it. Yeah. I, I get why people want ring doorbells. Yes, those I, are cool. I don't ever want one, ever. There's Okay, hold on. True life. So, in the crazy town compound that we live in, they're on the way to the pool. Oh, really? There is there is a lady who moved in. Yeah. And like I saw her her patio is just like extravagant. Like I'm like, oh wow, you put a lot of work on your patio. I happen to notice when I walk by her apartment on the way to the pool, she has a ring doorbell there. Okay. And she replaced the goddamn lock on her door. It does not have a normal deadbolt. It has some sort of other smart lock on it. Good I'm like, this bee just was like, F the F F the community. I'm just gonna put my own lock on the door. Uh-huh. And that was like Wow. Yeah. Like, I'm like, it's a gated place. Like you and we live in the most like the most inconspicuous part of the whole gated place. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. not like we live like right where you pull in the front and anyone's gonna go by. You have yeah. to go all the way around and into a little cul-de-sac to get to like where yeah. we are. And she's like, I don't feel safe. And I was like that, that is a little crazy. Uh like I yeah, I don't know if we even experienced that much like of anything going on in the park. I've never had really anything done to my vehicle or anything. Somebody broke into my car and stole my clicker for the damn gate a while I mean, back. But we'll I mean see. that that's different than like worried that someone's gonna try to like you need a ring doorbell on your apartment. <laughs> on hey, your maybe, goddamn maybe. apartment. Hey look, man, if she has the same amount of trust that for the Amazon delivery guy that I do, then yeah, I understand. Because <laughs> look. <laughs> I still have packages I've never seen. I don't, dude. I don't know, man. Maybe if I had a home, like a home, home, like I bought my own home, mm-hmm. it'd be like that that cartoon back in the day, Home of the Future. And you like walk around and like put your tie on while you're brushing your teeth and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like that and, would be kind of cool. And it's kind of weird because like the better na- the better the neighborhood that you live in, the more you should probably have one of those ring. Um, I was uh, I have a a, a guy that I know. Has a home, very, very nice neighborhood, very affluent, like a bunch of just like nice looking homes. And he caught somebody on his ring camera going through his car because they would just leave their car doors unlocked. Oh, that's normal. Look, honestly, I, I guess it's better than getting your window smashed in on the same note. You could be like, well, if he checks your car and it's locked, he'll probably just move on. Sure. Just right, because most of the time they go on and check for open doors. They're not trying to break glass. Yeah, they know eventually yeah. anyways. But it's like you didn't have anything in the car, so the guy's like stealing mail. I'm like, okay, maybe looking for like numbers or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's what happened when they broke into my car. They got like probably four dollars and change out of the console. They got my goddamn phone charger and they got my clicker for the gate. I'm like, you hey. son of a like hey, that's a win. They told me that's that it was lick. gonna cost me seventy five dollars to replace it at the office and they never charged us. So boom. <laughs> I mean, good. You you made a way like a bandit. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> she told me I could file a police report if I wanted to. I didn't. You you basically robbed them, yeah, because the police would just laugh at you. They really would. They'd, They'd be, be like, like, "Oh, so you lost what a hundred dollars worth of merchandise? Yeah, go 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 to bed." I mean, Take the police basically laughed at me when I got my car stereo and subs and amps stolen out of my car back in the day in Cleveland. They were just like, "Ah, uh-huh, yeah, we'll look for them." <laughs> Yo, nobody's stealing car stereos anymore. If, honestly, Nobody has a car stereo anymore. That, yeah, that part. Honestly, your car is more safe now than it was uh, 20 years ago. Well, yeah, because I think a lot of the decks that come in cars have have some preamp output yeah. already in them, and you Bluetooth to it from your phone. So, like, you really, if anything, just have, like, an amp and subs in the trunk, and that's it. You don't have, like, a whole new head unit like yeah, you used yeah. to do. You have to you used to have to, like, wire everything up yourself. And then, yeah, they do and that, you they just do probably that run you. a line to the fucking front and put a, and hook your preamp in the back and mm-hmm. have your sub. But, like, I, you know, that's really interesting that you bring that up. It's like, we live in Austin, which is a pretty big damn city, like, the top ten size city in the country. When I'm out driving around, I really don't hear people bumping their stereo here. No, not really. Not and really. I don't know if it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if that's that happens less now or we're just not in areas where that does happen or we're, I don't know. I don't know. Has it know. fallen off? I, I mean, I feel like it to some degree it kind of has. I don't like I'm not 20 something anymore, so I don't really know what 20 somethings are into. But yeah. I don't know. That's something that we used to do when we were like teens and in our early twenties. Yeah, 20s. yeah, yeah. So I don't. I'm not really Bumping sure. Bumping Weezer on my subwoofers and people are like, "What the hell is wrong with this?" I guy? think now instead of putting money into their cars, kids are like, "Hey, yo, I can put money or my time and effort at least into like internet and like video games and like." There's so much more 
than just like I got like a car with a loud. And everybody speaker. just sits at their house and doesn't do anything either. So they're like, why am I putting work money into my car? <laughs> That's a good point yeah, too. So, but anyways, I don't know. We can interest, sit here man. and wax about millennial or Gen Z years all day long. You oh, know, geez. It's, boomer bags. <laughs> whatever, dude. Anyways, that's all time we have for for today's episode. If I could speak, thecrazytown.com is the website. Go there, look at it, sign up, make it happy for Jonas. Do you think? Yep. <laughs>